to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Immortal, invisible God, only one. Most glorious, most precious. The ancient of days, Almighty Jesus. Thy great name we Immortal, invisible God, only wise. That's the part I want you to hear. Just because he's invisible does not mean he's unreal. He's only invisible to the frame of your sight. But he's ever present, even here tonight. Even here tonight. We know that he's here. He is brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine. The Holy Ghost is brooding. Listen, I am a student of revival. I have studied revivals across many continents by the privilege of God's grace. I have had the honor to meet a few people, some in their lifetime still alive, others before they left. Every one of those people became mighty because they honored him. A weak woman, listen, a weak woman called Maria Woodward Eater. She ran away from ministry because she was too weak. She was fra fragile. What do I teach? I don't even have the, the charisma. But the Holy Ghost said, come. Don't ever say you are not enough. Let him come. He becomes a completer. What do I say? Just let him come. A man like Baba Deboye will stand with thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. Millions of people. May not talk so loud may not shout and jump because of his age and personality but in honor to that spirit of god he will say in the name of jesus let this be the last time of your tears and you will hear people will shout amen and the next thing you see people return with testimonies don't downplay what he can do i have good news for you he is here he is here because the word of God declares that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. But he is here because he says to call upon him and he will answer. He will even show great and mighty things. For in the sanctuary, God is There is a anointing. The there is a stillness in the atmosphere. The burdens you have for me to send you Apostle. Is it true that the load I'm carrying on my head can leave? Find out what he did to darkness. Do you know how difficult it is to drive darkness? Because you cannot hold it. 
darkness is not like a car that you push away how do you drive darkness do you blow it to go away but when the spirit of god arrived darkness fled so don't be surprised help them please that in one moment you will check that pain and not find it again listen listen let it not surprise you that while you are seated he leaves you see that because he is god he does not leave, need to live here to be where you want him to be he can be in both places so while he's here he can be in your office immediately correcting something that needs to be corrected listen tonight is a miracle service and i needed to tell you this the holy spirit can help men there are many of you who are accessing power tonight not just power to run but power to soar yesterday i told you there is a certain speed that the plane must get to lift it is a risk for the plane to lift if it has not gotten to that speed the holy spirit can provide that speed so that you will rise for those who are sick in their bodies i want you to know that the helper is here for those who have cried and say is there a way ah. he'll move your mountains he'll cause walls to fall with his power he'll perform There are those of you what is happening is that he's coming to rest upon you like a hand upon the eggs and wisdom that he will breathe upon you you will come out and do something that will shake a nuku state they will say from whence come this wisdom what dimension of wisdom can you just come with listen there are some of you who came here like strangers but you are living as prophets you came here as just prayer warriors but you are living as giants cause guardians of power in the spirit listen the biblical proof of spiritual power is when you say it and it happens for i am a man under authority having men under me i say to one go and he goeth i say to one come and he cometh and god said and there was and what he said that manifested he saw it and it was good he can turn the weak to become strong he can change ss to aa he can turn a woman's i'm saying this so that take your eyes away from the darkness and look at him help them please help them i'm about to pray now you see for as long as you are focused on the darkness you will not be able to see his glory i am a product of his grace i am a product of the healing power of god it's not just that he uses me to bring it i am a beneficiary i know what it means to be plagued by sicknesses and infirmities i have seen firsthand the power of god i don't just say he heals because I read it in the Bible alone. My life is a testament. I am a living epistle. I have been oppressed by demon spirits. I know what it means to minister as a man of God, not an unbeliever, and yet still be oppressed. But I also know the taste of victory. You can taste and see, not just hear and assume. You can taste. There is an experience to his ministry. Listen, when we begin to pray, I like for your heart to be opened because there are many of you you may not be sick in your body but hear me for the sake of those who are connected to you there are graces you must receive this night if god has called you to bring a certain kind of revival in any state don't sit down assuming it will happen by what 
the Bible says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you. It's time to speak to certain forces in Enugu to say and it happens. It's time to open certain doors, even ancient doors that close the destinies of men. The messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61, it says the spirit of the Lord the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek to bind up the brokenhearted to comfort those who mourn he had sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison have you ever seen a man in a spiritual prison there are people who are in the correctional centers they are limited. That is an adumbration of what happens to a man in a spiritual prison. Just because you are moving physically does not mean you are free. There are prison doors that need to be opened tonight. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broken. I will pray for you but the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white not just yellow the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white someone in one minute wherever you are i want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must live your life tonight insist no negotiation it must go outside inside pray the helper has come Everything that needs to leave must leave because the helper has come. Having obtained help from God, I continue. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm going to lay my hands on this gentleman. And is this the gentleman I spoke? No, I'm not sure. One that I spoke about in the morning. In the name of Jesus, where is he? Let him come and stand. I'm going to pray now. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. May your power rest upon this gentleman. Let it be a new season of grace for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the man I spoke to in the morning. What do you do? You're a businessman. I want to pray for you. That's the call of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ more than the business you are doing may the grace of god rest on you my dear look at me in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i speak even over your family Shani Sanakusia. i'm seeing a chain around your hand in the name that is above all names right now i decree as is happening to her i pray over someone the chain that has tied down the productivity of every family every destiny in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now and for this gentleman i pray for you may the lord show you mercy in the name of jesus uzo chuku uzo chuku uzo chuku who is that? Uzo Chuku. What does that mean? God's way. Who is Uzo Chuku? Huh? Her brother. You too. Where is he? This person, your brother, he's not here. He's in the overflow. Is that true? It's in the country outside the country no i'm saying the person i'm seeing is in an overflow uzochuku there is an uzochuku outside that's i'm not saying 
is there someone like that i'm going to pray for you but the one i'm seeing you are in an overflow if you find him let him run his salvation has come what please verify what's your name yes. i will don't worry don't feel embarrassed that you're not i will pray for you what he says to one he says to all my friend look at me I'm hearing the sound of a baby please listen I'm hearing the sound like the cry of a baby this is a family that has been trusting God they have prayed they have prayed they have prayed they have prayed I don't know where that family is but the power of God is touching someone right now I hope you believe what God is doing I'm still hearing the cry of a baby Lord I don't know what family this is but in the name of Jesus help has come for you help has come for you by the Spirit of God huh? no, no you don't you don't have to come out I'm going to pray for you but what mama you're standing for yourself your daughter okay where is she Your daughter-in-law is here. Yes. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How long? For one year plus. Mama, what of you? Uh, five years. Another one is four years. Two of my daughters. Don't worry. You don't have to come out. I can imagine that there are several people. Just wherever you are, God is going to touch you. We're going to pray for the sick now. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. You are the Uzo Chukus from Overflow. In the name of Jesus, Father, I am praying right now that everything that represents captivity, in the name of Jesus, right now for the Uzochukus, I curse it by the power of God. I release you right now. Go and experience the hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. They don't have to um please except we ask them to come if not we'll make the place rowdy but since they are there they are mothers mama i pray for you where eh? in the name of jesus christ the lord will wipe your tears yeah. he will give your children miracles yeah. even by the power of the holy spirit yeah. in the name of jesus christ please let them go i want to pray for the sick right now but how many of you believe you actually can be free from demons put your hand down how many of you believe your family can be free i hope you know that you are not really free until that salvation gets to your family hallelujah i truly believe in the liberty of the saints that the power of god is able to set people free with proof and results agnes 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 like A G N E S, Agnes. I just heard that name. I'm going to pray for the sick right now, but I'll minister deliverance. Why do I minister the power of God to set people free? Because in every gathering, I tell you, there are people who they may be laughing and singing and dancing. But it's everyone that knows where the shoe is hurting. There are people as they are standing here, they are saying, Lord, I didn't come for this conference to waste my time. Visit me and give my family a testimony. There's somebody who sells cement. Cement. I just saw bags of cement. It's like a business that you do you sell cement. Why is she here? Agnes is your name. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I decree and declare that everything that is not of God, you're Agnes too. Don't cry. Don't cry. The Lord is giving you a new song. In the name of Jesus, a new song. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. He says, many will see and fear and put their trust in him. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit is there.
bring the person. Let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Why, why is he just on shots? Is that how he came? Is that how he came? In the name of Jesus Christ, just cover the cloth of someone. In the mighty name of Jesus, I minister deliverance right now. Now, I'm about to pray. Listen. Spirits don't just rest upon men. Spirits can rest upon conditions and situations. When a spirit is upon a situation, it will act unusually. For instance, a financial situation, a spirit can come upon it. It's not only men spirits possess. They can possess conditions, economic conditions, marital conditions, any kind of condition. So in administering the power of God in the presence of the Holy Spirit, it's not only from men we are exiting the spirits. We are also exiting them from conditions. When you are supposed to get a job and everything is there and someone promises you and you will never get the job, there is a spirit in that condition. Are we together? Can I pray for you now? As I speak, I know that here is limited. Please don't inconvenience those who are in front. But I'm going to request that you bring those under the anointing out as I minister to them. It's time for their liberty. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. Don't get used to it. I know you've shouted it many times. We don't shout it as a ritual. But listen, let me tell you the truth. I'm seeing a sword. What looks like a knife, a sword, is piercing into people and situations and families. That sword represents the word of God. At the count of three, everything that does not name the name of Christ, as you shout the name that is above every other name, it must give way. Whether you are outside, all of the overflows or anywhere, it's time for you to be free. Those of you in front here, I declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of Jesus. Be completely healed right now. In Jesus' name, and may the Lord visit you. Everything that represents a limitation in your life, say amen, I curse it right now. It must let you go right now. In Jesus' name. Now let's pray. Father, the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down. There are destinies that will not lift up their heads. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire that proceeds from his throne, that brings deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, anybody who is under the anointing, please help to bring them out right now. At the count of three, one, my goodness, two, three, shout Jesus. I command liberty, liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty by the spirit of the living God. I decree and I prophesy liberty, 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 Shapesketa, a Kreketoskiata, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified in the name of Jesus. We are still going to shout that name. My goodness, bring them out. I'm seeing fire falling. Lord, every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities, as you are shouting, that fire will rest upon every altar. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every family, every die down. By demonic orchestrations, we bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. This man, that man wearing suit, come. This man, yes. Please bring them out something is happening what do you do sir 
Huh? <laughs> I work with EFC. You work with EFCC. I'm going to pray for you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you. Please hear me. Write this between now and November. God is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of delay. Ah, ah, ah. That anointing is coming right now. As I mentioned the cases, is leaving you right now. Delay, delay, delay. I cost you. I cost you. I cost you. Delay of any kind. My goodness. I just I hope they are not injuring themselves. Hallelujah. The overflow here. What's it called? The tent? Is this the tent? The of the smaller tent. I want you to lift your hands. Those in that tent. Please lift up your hands, those in that tent. I'm seeing the power of God fall on people there. At the count of three in that tent, I want you to shout Jesus. And I want you to bring out those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them in here. Father, you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent. I decree and declare right now. The tent there. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Liberty, even by the Spirit. Liberty. Now, please hear me. The Lord is revealing to me there are people here, anything given to you, you will lose it. Whether it is relationships, when good things come into your life, they don't last. I want to pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything that has left you, that should not have left you, I call upon my God. Let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been walking with God access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation I bring you, I call you by prophecy into that dimension. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. Prophetic revelation. So that you will bring the precepts of God with accuracy and with precision. Hear me. Although we are here in Enugu, the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now 
I relocate you to the place of destiny. I relocate you to the geography of your witness. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. The Lord is showing me patterns. Every year, someone must die. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every three, three years, someone must die. I want to judge that altar by the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family, it is judged right now in Jesus' name. It is judged right now in Jesus' name. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. No one, Jesus, there is no one. Darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no about to pray for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here the absence of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. No, no, you don't have to come out since I didn't call you. Don't worry. You can stand where you are and receive. In the name of Jesus, Father, everyone who is called into the healing ministry, and I said it the last time I was in this city, God has revealed to me that before Christ returns, there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again. We have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers. So we've seen pockets of it here and there, but there will be such a move, the healing ministry, authentic, genuine healing ministry. I pray right now. I don't know that man of God. But in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Man of God there does not just mean male. Male and female all together. I hope you know that women have a major end time role to play. A major end time role. There are women who will come in the spirit and the power of Elijah. And will do mighty things across regions. It is true. They will defy the prejudices of gender and race and God will use them mightily and gloriously. I'm praying right now. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Everyone to carry this healing anointing. At the count of three I declare like oil may it rest upon you now one two get ready now get ready three take that grace right now in the name of jesus may your hands be anointed you will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of jesus christ 
I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry, may the Lord do mighty things, mighty things, mighty things. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.